Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, FPV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. Hey, pilots! Drain Man here, and today... I have got a very special video. In today's video, I am introducing to you guys something never seen before. You got that right. This is the ESC Torture Chamber. That's right, custom made by yours truly. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna take ESCs, we're gonna put them in the chamber, we're gonna torture them, we're gonna find out how many amps can they handle. On my most recent video, I reviewed this stack right here. They are claiming 100 amps. 100 amps, are you sure about that? Can that really handle 100 amps? And I thought to myself, can it? Or do they just write whatever they want on the box? Who knows? But guess what? That is why I've taken the past few weeks to design this right here so we can strap ESCs inside the ESC torture chamber and find out can they handle the amperage. Let's go. So guess what, with this ESC torture chamber right here, we are going to be able to actually get the truth. So what I've got here is I've got the toolkit RC watt meter and I've updated to the latest firmware. So what it will do is it will record the max current that ran through it. So I'll be able to and then we'll actually be able to go back and look and see how many amps went through it. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but if it explodes and then we recorded 40, but yet they're claiming 100, gotcha. So that's the plan with that. This guy actually took three and a half days to print. It is 100% solid. That means each and every bit of this thing was a line of plastic, well PLA, squirted out through the extruder and onto the print bed to form this magnificent masterpiece. And after three days of printing, a roll and a half of filament and about three and a half pounds of plastic, this guy is ready. So let me walk you through what we got here. So as you can see, I have set it up to have a motor on each and every side. Now, not in all scenarios are we gonna use all four. For example, today we are testing a single ESC, so I'll just use one. But the way that I've set this up, you really can't see it because I've got my clamp on it, but right here holds the single ESC, but this time I just stuck it in the middle. But as you can see here, I laid out for 30 by 30. Let me show you. See that? 30 by 30, so you can mount your 30 by 30 ESC right here. Boom, and then I've got uh, the same holes lined out, but 20 by 20 that were built into the design. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to be able to mount any type of ESCs. I've decided to run all of the motors through LED race wire. And what that's gonna do is instead of you trying to look for, for movement, you'll actually be able to see indicated by the LED light spinning up. So every bit of voltage that passes through this, these will light up. So that'll be helpful just in a simple power up. When I plug it in and power it up, you'll get to see that it lights up here or here or here or here or all four or only three, and, you know, and it'll help me to, to know which motors are coming on and which ones are working. And you will notice here that these motors are higher than these motors. And that is for a reason. So although I have set these up where they're far enough away that they don't reach, see that? I've got space in between because I'll actually be able to overlap the propellers. That means while this one is spinning at this height, this one can be spinning at this height. So that should allow for me to go at least seven inch propellers and actually be able to push this thing to the max. That brings me to the next part of the ESC chamber and that's this guy right here. And what this is, is this is a plug that allows me to quickly plug in the ESC, boom, and then quickly plug in power, boom and I can just unplug everything, pack this guy up, and put it away until the next video, right? So that's pretty awesome. I went ahead and installed a voltmeter right here. Let me show you. 
So when I plug in, as you can see, we've got our voltage. So this lets me know, this lets you guys know at all times how much voltage we're getting. I would imagine once we start putting a serious load, I mean, this is just a single, but once we start running, you know, four at a time or whatnot, that uh, we should have some pretty serious voltage sag. And we need to be careful. Uh, as much as I want to stress out the batteries, I don't want to break them. As far as the ESC goes, I can't say the same. All right, so now where the motors are mounted to the ESC torture chamber, that PLA thickness, that motor mount thickness is not comparable to a quadcopter arm. You might see them at three millimeters, four millimeters. If it's a good one, you've got five millimeters. I don't think I've ever seen six, but here I am running over 10. I am running 15 millimeters thick, and then I've got some big washers on the back side of the bolts. So when you get these MOSFETs, and they're going on and off, on and off, up, down, up, down, amperage, voltage, whatever, they get hot. And if I let them get too hot, it's just going to pop right away. So that is the idea of why they are right there in the middle where when this is spinning, it is actually fanning the ESC, cooling it down. Okay, so you will notice I've got a hole here, hole here, one here and one here. And that is to be able to take the ESC torture chamber and actually put it onto like maybe a wood desk or a wood frame of some sort and screw it down, anchor it down. That way where I still can pull the screws out, flip it over, remove the motor screws, put on a bigger motor. Thus, you're seeing the motor standoffs right here. That's why those are so wide is so that way I can fit a bigger motor. So I am thinking ahead on that. All right, so no more messing around. Our first victim for the ESC torture chamber is going to be the TBS Bulletproof D-Shot 600 BL Heli S ESC. And this is a single ESC. I'm pretty sure it's rated four to five S. So we are just going to do 4S on it and we'll see how it does and we'll move from there. So let's go ahead and get this thing rocking and rolling. So the very first thing I need to do is plug in the ESC. Boom. All right. So she's wired up to the motor, this motor. She's wired up to the power. All right. Then I've got the extension. I've built this guy to help me get back a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. Boom. Now we are ready to plug that into the meter. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it into the meter. Boom. And lastly, we are going to take our signal connection. Now this is not going to give it D shot, it's one shot or none of that. It's just going to be a PWM signal. So we'll go ahead and plug that into the side right there. And we are locked and loaded. So now we'll turn this all the way up. We'll set this battery aside and let's begin the torture sesh. Okay. <laughs> all right, here we go pilots. Let me try to get away. Okay, okay, she's live. She is live. All right, so I do wanna say this right now, we're just gonna warm it up a bit. I do wanna let you know that right now I have the propeller on backwards. I don't wanna to draw too much amps just yet. So I've got it on backwards right now. Let's see how it does. So you can see by the lit up LED race wire which motor is spinning. You can see here we're running 16.6 .6 volts. Let's go for it. Okay, so we're pulling about 67 milliamps. All right. That seemed pretty clean and nice. A max of 0.6 amps, 11 watts. We pulled about four milliamp hours and we're going on a minute and a half. Let's go. Oh, 
God, it's making me nervous. <laughs> Where are we at? We're at 16.4. Holy cow. Woo! Oh, oh, oh shit, you scared the f out of me! <laughs> um, I thought you were gonna hide under the table. I was, but I'm having fun. <laughs> so, I don't know though, I'm only going up to 16 amps, but everything is getting dangerous already. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what to do. What do you mean dangerous? You don't hear that thing? It's bending the propeller. That's that loud yeah, sound at the end. The All right, is sir. making you have the shiniest bald head ever. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, so we need to turn the propeller around. Because right now I have it backwards, so that way it doesn't grab too much. So I'm going to turn it around now. Probably need to get out of the table for this one. <laughs> Alright, so we are turning the propeller around, guys. I ran, I didn't go max, but I was pretty dang close. We were at about 16 amps. It's time to really turn up the heat. So we're either gonna blow the motor or we're gonna blow the ESC. Here we go. Oh yeah, now we're actually getting wind. Alright, so that's only two amps. Holy cow. So, I've decided I'm getting under the table. I don't feel safe anymore. This is getting crazy. Wish me luck. Alright, here we go. up on it or anything? Mm -hmm. It's not? It's taking it and spitting it out. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. Not even hot. Not even hot. 80 degrees. Motor 112. Oh! Can you see that? 43 amps. 15 watts. This is a 25 amp ESC. I gave it 43 amps and not for a little bit of time. I mean, I <clears throat> trying to break this thing. Just trying to break this thing. All right. So now we need to turn up the heat. <laughs> All right, pilots. 43 amps. 
That's pretty dang impressive. On a 25 amp single ESC 4S, I mean, the ESC torture chamber is doing its job. The problem is, so is the ESC. So we are now faced with a situation where I've tortured the ESC and it still wants to go outside and play. So I've got news for him. We are going to take off this five inch propeller. We are going to over prop it with a seven inch propeller. I mean, look at this, look at that. That's incredible. If you can see that. All right, let's drop that on. Holy moly, look at that. That is a monster propeller. It really is. Whew. You should not be putting this size propeller on this size motor. Definitely not. All right, I do want to say this though, at 43 amps for a 25 amp, I'm already happy, I'm already impressed, but what good is the torture chamber if we don't really torture it? So we're gonna push it to its limit, we're gonna make it say our name, and we're gonna go for a little bit higher, and let's see what happens, huh? Oh wait, wrong battery. Wrong battery, one sec. We need a 120C. 120C. All right. I smell, I smell something. ESC's a little warm. ESC's a little warm. <laughs> All right, today, ow. Okay, motor, ow. Motor is hot. 130 degrees. The motor can't handle it. Oh my God. 65 amps, 917 watts, 65 amps through this little guy right here. And just to show you, we didn't blow it. Check this out, all right? We ran 65 amps, 65.1 to be exact, and it still works perfectly fine. I can now take this ESC, strap it up, to a quad and go for the sky. And guys, if you've got any ESCs that you want to see tortured, you want to know, can they handle it? Can they not? Will it explode? Will it not? Let me know. Hit me down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the ESC torture chamber and I will see you on the next one.